President Trump's growing attack on Amazon, the president on Twitter lashing out at one of the world's biggest retailers, and just like that, Amazon stock plunged. Our chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, is here. And Rebecca, this war seems to be getting personal. Yeah, that's right, Cecilia. This is the company where millions of Americans buy everything from electronics to paper towels. It is a stock that most Americans with a 401k own in their savings account, and the repeated Twitter attacks from the president are taking their toll. President Trump threatening major changes for Amazon. On Monday, tweeting, only fools or worse are saying that our money losing post office makes money with Amazon. They lose a fortune, and this will be changed. Also, our fully tax paying retailers are closing stores all over the country, not a level playing field. It's all part of a tweet storm aimed at the tech titan. The president suggesting rate hikes for shipping Amazon packages, sending shares of Amazon spiraling down more than 5%. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, who also owns the Washington Post, once invited to be on the president's tech council, now caught in the crosshairs. So exactly how much money is the Postal Service losing on its deal with Amazon? According to its own website, by law, the Postal Service must cover its costs on all deliveries, including Amazon packages. Amazon, which uses the Postal Service in the final leg of package delivery, does get a high volume discount. Also at issue, taxes. While Amazon paid a total of $957 million worldwide last year and collects sales taxes in the 45 states which require it, in most states, the tech titan does not collect taxes on the products third-party vendors sell through its site, roughly half its volume. A significant advantage the e-commerce giant has over traditional brick-and-mortar competitors and a point Trump frequently campaigned on. In the meantime, your department stores are all going out of business because it's unfair competition. Last year, a record 7,000 stores closed and retailers cut 67,000 jobs overall, while Amazon announced it would be adding 100,000 jobs by mid-2018, so mid this year, Cecilia. And as the president was tweeting, we saw those Amazon stocks fall yesterday. Other tech stocks are taking a hit. How much of this has to do with what they might be seeing as uncertainty about what's happening in Washington? Well, that's certainly a part of it, Cecilia. Overall, tech stocks have been dropping in recent weeks, and we've seen that with Facebook, Netflix, Apple. Apple, of course, Amazon, which we're talking about here, Google's parent company, Alphabet, and that regulatory uncertainty does play a role. For example, with Facebook, the privacy scandal, that's certainly regulatory uncertainty that's hanging over that name as well. And for Americans, the two important things to think about is, A, we use these companies, B, they're in most people's retirement savings accounts, whether you own them outright or they're in a mutual fund. You're going to be busy with this one for the weeks to come. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.